In a separate ruling, the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals also revived breach of contract claims under state law against Facebook over the information disclosures. And representatives for Facebook and Zynga could not immediately be reached for comment. And users of Facebook and Zynga filed separate class action lawsuits against the companies in 2010 that have been consolidated on appeal. And the plaintiffs claimed that when they clicked on a Zynga game or a Facebook ad, advertisers and other third parties received their Facebook ads and Facebook page address, court filings show. And in its opinion on Thursday, a unanimous three-judge Ninth Circuit panel ruled that the plaintiffs could not bring civil wiretap claims against the two companies because the information allegedly disclosed to advertisers did not qualify as the contents of a communication under the law. And however, plaintiffs can pursue allegations that the information disclosure violated Facebook privacy policies which all users are required to endorse, the court ruled. The Ninth Circuit issued back part of its ruling in a separate opinion that cannot be cited as precedent in other cases. And Gass Renasiri, an attorney for plaintiffs suing Facebook, said a social media network's trove of user information is key to how it makes money. And now we are going to get our chance to show exactly why Facebook breached its privacy policy and what the value was to Facebook, Nasiri said. And similar state law claims against Zynga were not before the Ninth Circuit, according to the opinion. An attorney for the Zynga plaintiffs could not immediately be reached. And the cases in the Ninth Circuit are in re Facebook privacy litigation, case number 12-15619 and in re Zynga privacy litigation, case number 11-18044. And reporting by Dan Levine, editing by Franklin Paul and Richard Chang.